Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove any background in Adobe Photoshop, easy and fast. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is upload your image and if you don't know how to upload your image what you want to do is go over to the left hand corner press file and open and this will open your file explorer and you can choose which image you want to edit next what you want to do is go in the top left hand corner press select and then go down and press select and mask after you do that it will make a new tab in photoshop and here you can edit your photo Next, what you want to do, go in the top right hand corner, go to the drop down, and press overlay. This will make an overlay that you can edit with. Next, you want to go to your toolbar and then press the very top tool. It should be a brush. Next, you just want to start drawing over what you want to keep. And you don't have to draw the whole thing out because it automatically does most of the work for you. Basically, just works like the quick selection tool. Next, you just want to keep drawing until you have everything you want masked out. Now that I have everything masked out, what I want to do is I just want to hold all and use the wheel on your mouse to scroll in. And this will just help you get the rough edges that you couldn't get at normal distance. So you just want to keep masking it out until you're satisfied. So I'll just convert to time lapse so I can finish these details. So now that you have everything you want masked out, what you want to do is just go to the bottom right hand corner and press OK. And it will convert everything you didn't mask out into PNG. And as you can see, if we scroll in, everything looks pretty good. There's no borderline that is like different color or whatever. But if you scroll into little crevices, kind of like behind my ear over here, you'll kind of see that some of the border is still there. So what you want to do to fix this, you just want to go over to your toolbar and select the magic wand tool and select the places where the background is still showing, and then press delete. This will make the part of the background that you selected PNG. Then you just want to do this till you're satisfied with the details. So that's how you remove a background in Adobe Photoshop fast and easy. Now since we've taken the old background out, we're going to add in a new one. You just want to head over to your browser and look up whatever you want to put in your background. Press images, and then go to tools right here. And then press size and then press large. By pressing the largest one possible, it will make sure that your background is not too pixely. So when you find a picture you like, you just wanna right click on the picture and then press save as, and then just name it whatever you want and press save to files. Now that you got your photo, what you wanna do, go in the upper left hand corner, press file, press open, and then load your image in and it will be in a new tab. Then what you wanna do, you wanna take your tab and drag it out and then just let it go and then what you want to do is make sure the top tool in the toolbar is selected it's the move tool and just drag the background photo into the subject photo and if you want you can go ahead and close this so it doesn't get in our way now you want to go back in the upper left hand corner press edit and then press free transform and then just go ahead and scale your photo over your subject Just like what I'm doing here. Now you've done that, what you want to do is go in the bottom right hand corner, drag the background photo under the subject photo, and just like that, we replace the background. This is optional, but the next thing you want to do is just color correct the subject to the background. And to do that, what you want to do is go in the bottom right hand corner, double tap on the subject layer, and this will open a new tab, and what you want to do is just go down and select Color Overlay. And now you just want to make sure that you have the eyedropper tool selected. And next, you just want to go to your background and take a shade from it that you want to match to your skin or to your subject. And then just press OK. And then you can turn the opacity meter up and down so you can just adjust it perfectly how you want it. Once you've done that, what you want to do is just press OK, and then you're all ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more daily uploads like this. And if you have any questions, comment down below because I'll reply to all the comments that come in. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.